New lawyers are joining the corruption case involving the Kealohas. We've learned former chief Louis Kealoha has a new lawyer. He was previously represented by Miles Briner, who is still representing Kealoha's deputy prosecutor wife, Catherine. And Michael Green has been hired to represent two people who were children when Catherine was appointed guardian for their trust accounts. Federal authorities claim she misused the money. Bridget Lamar follows up. Bridget? Joe, criminal defense attorney Michael Green tells me he recently met with the brother and sister. Prosecutors say Kay Aloha was in charge of trust fund monies allocated to the minors that she stole from. In 2004, Catherine Kealoha, as a private attorney, set up separate trust fund accounts for a brother and sister, ages 10 and 12 at the time. The indictment alleges she stole up to $150,000 to pay for personal expenses. Kevin Sumida, an attorney for the Kealohas, told us on Monday the allegations are shockingly inaccurate. There was no wrongdoing. Sumita added the two minors, now of legal age, appeared before the grand jury and testified to exactly that. So why would the brother and sister, now 25 and 24, meet with an attorney? Michael Green could only confirm he will be representing the brother and sister. As for why the former police chief hired a new lawyer, Gary Modafferi, Green believes there is too much conflict of interest for one lawyer to represent the Kealohas due to the multiple and separate criminal charges. There are counts that Kathy was indicted on where the chief wasn't. So the lawyer would have to be cross-examining theoretically his own client. There's not a chance in the world a lawyer could do both. Miles Briner has stayed on to represent Catherine. According to court documents, Louis K. Aloha has hired attorney Gary Mataferi, a former Honolulu deputy prosecuting attorney, who in 1997 was arrested and charged with distributing crystal meth to a government informant. Green, who represented Mataferi in that case, says Mataferi has moved on from that mistake. We have reached out to both Miles Briner and Gary Mataferi, but have not yet heard back. Back to you, Joe.